Hello, the Grand Observer. Today we're here. doing um, a Let's Play. This is a movie talk. Hello, the Grand Observer oh, here. Good <laughs> evening. <laughs> With a new video topic. Hello, my grand's a blurber here with another Let's Talk. I know, <laughs> I keep doing Let's Talks a lot, ladies and gentlemen, but can't be helped, can't be helped. Because, yeah, it's what I do best. But today's Let's Talk, I was thinking earlier. Sorry. Eh, it won't mess. I'd like I'm advertising that. Um. I have been looking. It's hard to explain at first. Today's Let's Talk is more about platforms and such on gaming. Not YouTube and stuff, because everyone knows about how YouTube works and all that. And, like, Twitch, even though I think Twitch is one of the most stupidest streaming things, and YouTube could easily rival it if they get rid of the, um,. All the monetization and stuff, or whatever, about the games. Which I've heard rumors that they're working towards making a separate, separate platform specifically for YouTube gamers. But but that work, that part of YouTube just do doesn't get affected by the same rules. But what I'm saying is not about that. No. What I heard, what I'm talking about is. Have you ever tried finding a thing, a game you want but can't? Ever tried, I'd um, just uh, finding games to play for YouTube or whatever. I'm, uh, I've always struggled with being entertaining. I guess I don't know. I just prefer to believe a title, use voices, or acting in other ways. Being a British man, being German. Or being Russian, like I truly am. <laughs> yeah, just voices, but I like doing let's plays as well, aka okay? playing games for you viewers. And one place that does not get enough recognition, but you see like some top brand YouTubers go to, but you don't see too many people play still, is Steam. Steam is one of the most welcomed uh, gaming uh, library ever and this is why for so many different reasons there's there are thousands of free to play games from develop from young developers new developers all developers as you can pl buy new games play old games and uh, trial trial new games and some all sorts of people just one of the best places you can go to find games to either play for yourself or to play for others or play with others and Steam is not exactly the company that makes these, no. I think they support new game makers, yes, but what they are they... it's a giant library that houses these gamers, uh, these game makers uh, games from whether good ones to bad ones to new ones to old ones and we the uh, players get to decide what is good, what is bad, what other people should play, what others don't and people like me come to here to show you these games games the good, the bad the deeply terrifying ones <laughs> <laughs> I hate horror. I hate playing the horror games so much. I know I'm gonna need to find a new horror game soon. But we YouTubers find, use this site so often. So I highly recommend gamers and uh, to come to this site to play games. It is just awesome. So many different things. So many things. There's free to play. There's trying stuff out. There's buying the games themselves because why not sometimes you just need to buy a game that is from a high class company that you can't buy via anywhere else like this place not only like they can have discounts and stuff out the wazoo so, unlike the if you were to go to a different site to buy the games or whatever this 
site houses the lo the largest is um accounts of games ever. I highly recommend playing this or coming to this site and getting games. Like me, I'm just going to play games randomly because I'm right now, as you can see, trying to download some new games so I can show you or show you what they're like and who knows, have fun, right? But what, what do I know? I'm just a silly YouTuber doing a Let's Talk showing this off. Well, not showing much off because, I don't know, there's just too much to show. Like, I can keep going past all of these games. I'll, I'll do all these, all these, and these are just the free-to-play games. And there's who knows how many pages of just free-to-play games. Oh, well, there's 80. But, eh. I think it's because I just I'm looking at all of them like it's easier to figure out what's what when you um uh when you actually search specifics and stuff specific tabs but for the most part there are a lot of games on this you should really check it out check steam out and I don't know play games for yourself buy or play whatever it is definitely the a gamer's paradise, this place. I also forgot to mention that this site, Steam, if you have bad internet or not decent internet, don't worry, downloading games and stuff is not a problem. It would take slow time, of course, but it works brilliantly. So, internet is not a problem. As long as you have it, as long if it's decent enough you would download games high quality or not uh, with ease because like my internet is tethered to my phone and it works without a problem so yeah I highly recommend Steam so play it play the games on Steam the largest archive that I know and tell me what you think and what think about it of the games that are on it since all the games are the games you uh, would find on any other sites and stuff. I did mention there are, can be countless uh, cheap deals and stuff that makes things cheaper than if you were to buy said games from other sites or whatever. So, Steam is probably ranked number one in my book of what of a ga gaming archive of archives for games. So, if you like this video, you know what to do. If you want to see me play games, subscribe, because I'll be doing some games soon, since I have some downloading, as you saw. So, the Grand Observer is out. See you at the next one.